The Oklahoma Criminal Court of Appeals has refused to stop death row inmate Richard Glossop's execution. The Attorney General asked the court to throw out his murder conviction, saying there are too many doubts surrounding his guilt. But the court denied that request. Richard Glossop has evaded execution nine times in his nearly 25 years on death row. But despite new concerns from Oklahoma's Attorney General about testimony and evidence in his case, He's set to be put to death in just under a month. I think it was pretty shocking uh, based on the uh, um, response that was filed by the Attorney General. I assumed it would be a different decision from the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals. The court ruling that the matter has been thoroughly investigated and reviewed, but Glossop has not provided sufficient information that would convince the court to overturn the jury's determination that he is guilty of first-degree murder and should be sentenced to death. Two separate juries have come to that conclusion in the murder for hire of his boss at an Oklahoma City motel in 1997. Justin Sneed admitted to robbing Barry Van Trees and beating him to death, but claimed he he only did so after Glossop promised to pay him to do it. Gendner Drummond had outside counsel review the case shortly after taking office in January. He reviewed the legal term would be de novo, as from the beginning. And he reached some conclusions that there were many things that were not disclosed that should have been disclosed to the defense team. And, and in specific, uh, one issue that I thought was material. And just two short weeks ago, asked the Court of Criminal Appeals to vacate the conviction. I believe that Mr. Glossop is guilty. Is he guilty beyond a reasonable doubt? That's for the jury. But many people have come forward on Glossop's behalf, including Oklahoma State Representative Kevin McDougall. Uh, but in this particular case, the state made so many errors. I've been asking for somebody to stand up and take responsibility for those errors and say, listen, we made a mistake in the past. Let's own that mistake, let's correct it, and let's do the right thing. Gettner Drummond says, I'm not willing to allow an execution to proceed despite so many doubts. Does he have the authority to do so? Um, he, he can make that relief and that request, but ultimately the authority to stop an execution obviously is with the high court. They can overturn the conviction and issue a stay, but also with the governor's office. Go Governor ahead. Kevin Stitt's uh, office declined to comment on the matter. The only way Richard Glossop walks out of jail is if God put, intervenes into this. And I believe it's the only way that he's ever going to walk out is because of that divine intervention, because there's no way that you can take somebody that's on death row, convicted twice, all the odds are stacked against him uh, to even get to this point today. Glossop's attorney says it is, quote, unconstitutional for the court to attempt to force the state to move forward with his execution. He says he'll continue to fight for a new trial.